Okay, so welcome back to the chess gym stream. Looking forward to many more self tutorial videos, creating content. This opponent's taken a while to start, so it looks like we are in trouble already. Looking at the history of what we've done previously over the 2019, 2020, 21 and the 22 period. All the things I'm discussing now shouldn't be anything new. Might look like the opponent's not going to start. So they've got 10 seconds left to go. If they do start in the last second, then we know why. It looks like it's going to automatically abort. So that's a little bit strange and it's still ticking down so it's not automatically aborted it still says will auto abort in zero seconds and yet it's still going down is the time. Another strange thing and now it started. Now I'm almost inclined to actually abort the game because I know how this game is going to go. But we're going to use it as an example. Okay, so we'll push through here. So this is not the best start to our streaming in December. But we know why this has happened. So let's just see how the game pans out. There's going to be a lot of magic based purely on what we know and we've experienced throughout our time playing online. Let's develop the night. See if we can get into the game. Now look how fast the opponent's playing. It's all, yeah, bit of a muchness now. So I'm just going to develop the bishop. Attacking the knight. I have no expectations of this particular match because of what we kind of know of this type of play. So I'm actually going to bring the bishop back. It's a shame to start my first stream session with uh, this type of game so we've brought the bishop back I mean it is targeting the knight but they probably don't want the knight taking but now they're probably thinking well what's this knight doing so I'm actually going to capture with the queen I have to be mindful they might try and get some sort of fork thing so if this pawn pushes here so the knights are tackling the queen, so the queen can't take the pawn because their queen is supporting. We could go back, could come here blocking that pawn, and we could go here, x-raying through to the king. I think I'm just going to go back. So my mindset is already set on the fact that, well, I am playing magic here. So I'm just, in a sense, just sitting and waiting for the magic to occur. If their magic wand breaks halfway through or something, then maybe we can try and take advantage of that. But for now, we believe there's a magic wand being waved. Queen's out attacking the pawn, but also attacking this square here. So it looks like we may potentially lose one pawn. Queen will be all the way down there, so we could take this pawn. In fact, we can take that pawn now, but obviously we'd be getting a bit mated here. So bishop could come and attack, but it's blocking the pawn. If we do push up here, the queen takes this pawn. It's on our rook. If we take this pawn, we don't have a check on his king per se. So that's where like the magic is occurring already, in a sense. Uh, could bring the knight across, but again, it's attacking this pawn here, so we have to do something about that. I think it's just a matter of us pushing the pawn here. They're taking the pawn. We develop the knight across, so we're going to be a pawn down. Maybe the position might improve for us. So just push the pawn up. So always remembering, 
from the start of this game we said there's going to be magic so i'm going to bring the knight across so the queen can protect the rook also attack the knight at the same time so when i believe there's magic taking place um my game is a little somber i'm just looking to see exactly what it is that their magic wand is attempting to try and achieve sometimes it works in terms of sitting waiting because then they get carried away and put the wand down and think yes they're winning so they're going to go freestyle and sometimes they just use the magic wand all the way through the game So long game stamina as well, um, we've mentioned in the recent past, having that sort of stamina to say well okay yes you're a piece down or your position's not as good but practicing those types of games does help improve your game whether you like it or not. Like this game here, um, we don't stand a chance of winning this game or gaining any major advantages because we already know right from the start, before they've even made their first move, what was actually going to happen. Just based on our own experience. So now, like I said, we could have aborted the game, but I thought, well no, I'm going to test myself against the magic wand and really put some pressure on the opponent. It looks like they, well, I don't know. Gonna bring the bishop through, don't overthink it too much. So it's attacking the knight. So yes, I mean if you know you're playing a magic wand or you're not playing a magic wand, but you're you're playing somebody who is equal to yourself and you're just struggling to find those positions that ideally you would prefer to have, but you haven't been allowed to because you've reacted in a certain way that's put you in a position that you don't like. Being uncomfortable in those types of games really does, it does, it, it gives you a certain um, stamina, it, it builds a bit of character in your game as well, um, because constant, constantly winning games or constantly being advantageous in games doesn't really strengthen your game. It's got a 2 on 1 here with the Queen, so you'll have a check on my King type situation. Um, could castle, so if we castled, then there's a combination of stuff going on. Knight takes, oops. Knight takes, knight takes, queen takes, or maybe the knight takes, because obviously it's a free pawn again, so it's gonna be like uh, two pawns up, in a sense. So do we work it differently? Do we attack? Then he takes, then we take, and then the queen comes across and stops us from castling. And we attack or do we take but then if we take his pawn comes here and he's forking both our pieces so that's not clever bishop takes pawn takes smaller piece attacking the higher piece bishop could actually attack their queen yep so bishop can come here and attack the Queen. that looks quite nice because it's got support of the um of the knight but does he have a check on our king yes he does with this knight so his knight can come here put a check on our king but we can simply take Okay, I think I'm going to go with that. It looks very messy and it all depends on what the opponent does. So they've moved dead quickly. So yes, we're definitely in the magic zone type of situation. The speed at which they've moved just then. Could touch onto the knight, see what he wants to do, but it's going to take the bishop. Do we really want to lose the bishop? I don't know. 
any other attacks. Knight could attack the queen again. Just to see what it wants to do. So I'm going to bring the knight here, but the bishop's no longer protected. So we have to be very mindful of that. Just trying to block off the magic. Because the magic in its own right is it's only magic if we allow them to do it. Because they're not doing anything that is impossible on the board. It's just that they're doing stuff that we overlook. So it feels like their, their magic is really strong. Um, it's not fair playing against magic, but if we try if we know the magic spells and we know the magic tricks, then we're kind of nearly halfway there to actually circumventing the power of the magic. But it all depends on how much power they've got within their magic. So we're doing simple stuff, we're attacking a higher piece with a lesser piece. His knights are still all over the place. He's again attacking. So knee-jerk reaction is to castle. Does his knight have some funky move? No. Uh, the knight could take the pawn, bishop takes. Oh no, that can't work. Could for a queen castle. Ah, okay, hold on. We castle. Then the dark square bishop wants to come shoot in here to get the rook. It's all too too magical for me. Is there any other attacks? Knight coming here. Knight taking the pawn. Pawn takes. Bishop puts a check on. Bishop can put a check on their king. Bishop comes, take the bishop. King takes. So they've not castled. Don't think that's going to happen though, is it? The knight's just going to go back and defend, is it? Uh, can he come down anywhere else? Bishop can still come and attack our queen. Horn can go there. So I think bishop putting a check on the king looks alright, doesn't it? I suppose the king can just move because he still wants the bishop to have this um, situation. Or, yeah, the king could just move. So if it moves, got 10 minutes, if it moves and it moves here, it's on a white square, we have a white square bishop, that there's no further continuation, which is a little bit disappointing. If he moves and moves, okay, so he moves and moves, then knight takes the knight, maybe the queen comes in to get a little, t little bit tighter. And then he's got a two on one here with the pawn, so we'd have to push this onto the knight. But then the knight can come here and put a check on. Oh, I'm going to go with the check first and see how they respond. Check on the king first. It feels a bit nugatory, but at the same token, I'm just, um, the opponent's spread all across the board and. Depending on what they do, I think they're just going to move here, you know, I don't think they're going to waste the bishop, I think they want to go for this cheap shot here. But there's no continuation, if we do get the bishop off, I suppose, it, in a way, that would be nice, because they've not castled, but we have to be able to take advantage of that, or we don't need to go rushing to take advantage of anything. Like I said, it's going to move there, we're playing magic, we're absolutely playing magic. Okay, I was waiting for that. Yep. Ordinary would have gone here. Magic goes there. Interesting times. So this is not um, a, a level playing field that we are playing on at the moment. So we could take. If the queen did take, then the bishop would come here. But then that wouldn't work. Can take. What's the continuation? Now it's here. What is the continuation? Don't I'm maybe pushing on to the knight. Seeing what he wants to do. 
queen still on this pawn, don't forget. So let's not um, rush to do that just yet. What's my queen doing? Queen should be coming here, maybe. But then we lose this pawn as well. Oh, it's all a bit shaky, isn't it? It's all a bit shaky. Take. He still comes down because he's on the rook. Mm hmm. Okay, bring the knight back, but he's on the pawn, so that's not going to work. I feel like taking, but I don't want his queen coming in here. And are they going to take with? I don't think they'll take with the pawn because our queen is facing their king, so that's not going to happen. Mm hmm. Castle. Bishop comes down, Queen goes up to defend, it's these damn knights, got my pawns and all sorts of stuff, it's got my pawn here, why should I give him that pawn, I think I'm going to have to take this knight, but then my Queen can't come here to defend. I'd have a check on his king, wouldn't I, if the pawn takes. I'm going to take. I don't think the, I think the queen's going to take, although the mate just take this pawn like we did in the exercise because it's all going to be on our rook. So we're hoping that they do take here, then the knight can jump anywhere, I think. And I don't think there's anything major that it can take off the board. Damn it. Can't even put a check on the queen. So yeah, I think after thinking, this is coming. This poor pawn is like dead. Oh shit, it's tacky mushrooms. This knight is defending. Right, okay, so we can't be moving that knight then. I was just about to say, basically knight here has got to check on getting the rook as well. Yeah, this is not looking healthy. We're playing against magic though. So, what can we expect? Oh, yes, the queen takes. Doing all the moves I'm saying. He's doing magic. Still on the pawn here. It's got a two on one here, but we do have the knight protecting here, so we could in theory push here. still on this pawn so if we push there to attack he could still come here because it's on our rook if we moved here then obviously it gets the pawn could bring the rook across but then he's on this pawn i think it's this pawn this pawn needs to push up onto the knight if he takes the pawn, he's on the rook. Do we push the king up to protect? Then the push is here to put a check on the king. Do -do -do -do. move across does he exchange has he got a free piece okay well i think i'm going with this his magic is very strong he's doing everything that we've said so we're going to push here don't think there's knight going here because the bishop will come back and attack i think they're probably going to go well okay if you're going to take my knight i'll take this pawn i'm on your rook so if your pawn takes my knight i'll just take your rook and i'll have a check on your king I think that's what they'll do. So we push, he takes. We push up. Just remembering his knight is still there. So what funky business can he do? Then his queen goes up, puts a check on our queen. So it's going to be two pawns up in this game. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So that's his 
potential attack. Is there anything else? I mean, I can go here and then his rook comes down. His knight comes down and attacks the pawn. Get this space. Maybe the queen comes and attacks because... I don't think that's going to make much difference, is it? The queen comes to attack, looking to try and get the knight off the board. Takes anyway. We push up. He's putting the checks on. Uh, we have the knight that can probably go in front there, but that's going to be a bit annoying really, isn't it? Okay, I think I'm feeling better with that one, getting the queen up, attacking undefended piece. I, he can just drop the pawn as well, but I'm thinking his queen is chomping at the bit to get into activity. That's what magic would do anyway. It'd go, well, you're attacking my piece, I'll attack your piece. So I think they'll still attack the pawn. So we have to make the motions here. Oh, but the bishop, ah, just seeing it now. Didn't include the bishop in that. So the queen comes here, with the, takes the pawn. So we're not going to take the knight, unless of course we've got to check on his king. No. Then the bishop comes here rather than the queen, putting a check on the king. And he's got his queen and his knight there. So if the knight comes here, then if the bishop takes, I can't take it back with my king. Oh, horrendous magic. Oh, dear. Wow. Wow, this is scary how this magic is work going to work, isn't it? Captures. So I don't have to move my king, but it's... Um, I could just let him take all them pawns and just move the rook here. Seeing as we know that the bishop is coming here to just blast me away. Oh, yeah. I don't think I... The knights take... Oh, he's got my bishop. In fact, my bishop could have been taken. Could it not? Yeah, my bishop could have been taken. It's been sat there. Gonna take anyway. Yeah, it's got my bishop. I'm down a minor piece. No, I'm not. Am I? Am I? What actually happened there? Yeah, so it's plus two now. Yeah, this is some serious magic this person's using. I must be down more than that. One, two, three, castle. Looking for the rook as well. Super magic that we're playing against here. Absolutely super magic. Unbelievable. So they're plus two now out of that. Their bishop isn't developed per se. So it's kind of blocked in. So it's probably next thing is doing this type of thing. to, And this king's not castled yet. But we're playing magic. They don't need to concern themselves with that type of stuff. So they're plus two. It's two pawns. So always remember, right from the start of the game, even before they made the move, because their time was running down before they even started, um, we know the reasons why this was happening, and we know what's happening in this game. I was going to abort it, but I just wanted to play it out just to show you um, the magic of chess. Or playing against magic. Playing against strong magic. Magic. Okay, so the pawn opens up. So let's open up the bishop. Okay, so we could look to exchange off. They are plus two. The computer would probably frown on us actually going for an exchange of the queens. So I'm actually just going to push onto the queen with a smaller piece at this moment. As we're playing magic, we really don't stand a chance. We're trying to strengthen our game by knowing, acknowledging that we are playing magic. And seeing if we can try and circumvent the attacks that the magic has got in place. 
we haven't really done it so far we've, we've blocked off some of the quick and dirty tactic type things but they're plus two so they're doing something right yeah so be mindful it doesn't look they don't have to do picture perfect moves when they're using magic yeah um, more times out of 10 the more experienced they are at using magic the less obvious it's going to be that they are using magic so the queen moves okay so let's have a look knight could come here just to get a nice position queen could again attack but then obviously we would lose out because he's got support of the bishop and bringing the rooks across maybe opposite the king is quite dis disconcerting just going to do that don't want to overthink it we're on four minutes they're on six minutes at the minute it is a 10 second increment so we don't have to go speedy but um if we're trying to find some position somewhere so i'm hoping that i mean 10 seconds is enough for somebody to keep their magic wand going if it was zero increment they might struggle a little bit if it got down to the wire but a 10 second increment is quite a long time So pushing on to the bishop, uh, we could bring it back. But if we bring it here, then it's just hitting nothing really, isn't it? But it does have two pawns here and we do have one. And we'd be kind of helping them move them down. So let's just bring the bishop here. Is there anything here? No, let's just bring it here. Maybe we can work it here to get the diagonal here. Keep the king company. Yeah, so this is a bit of a harsh one to actually start the new chess season with, but I'll keep it just to show. Well, this is how, <laughs> this is what happens in chess. You know, simple is and that goes on um, on this particular site here and I'm going to put a check on the king it's probably going to look to trade down because he's plus two so we're going to maybe go for that and just see how they can work with the plus two advantage just remember his bishop's got this he moved the king Move the king. It almost looked like a panic move, but you know, magic doesn't panic. Probably need to get the knight off here because this bishop's looking for a double dose on our rook. Uh, da -da -da. It would be better if this knight could do something else, but it can't really. Could come here, but then it's not got anything else. Go for a blocker for now. So where's his pawn advantage? He's got one, two, three, four, five. So this one, because we've got four here and then it's got two on this side and we've only got one. So things are going to have to act, start acting as some proactive sort of pawns if we're going to try and do anything. This pawn can drop onto the queen because it's got support of the queen. I'm on 2 minutes 49. Time is flying. So I don't really have any more to say about the game. Um, he's not been allowed to castle. But um, the movements that he's done to get towards this position have been quite magical. Uh, do, 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 do. Bishop, bishop, queen, queen. I feel like there's something here for this. If the pawn does take, then the knight can go anywhere in a sense, can't it? Because it's attacking the queen, but it's not a positive, it's not proper, proper. I'd rather it was able to get a rook or something like that. I 
that might be a waste. Time's running down. So at this particular moment, it feels like they've put the one down for a second, um, but I think they're still going to grab hold of it. We go here, if they take, got the extra through to their queen. So the knight goes here, but then the queen just goes here, attacking our queen. Yeah, that don't, it's not good enough. Okay, maybe bring the rook here then. To do something, like what? Not too sure. Time is running flat, dude. Take, takes, takes. What do we got? Shall we give this a try? Let's give this a try. Owning a file. It's just he's got a bishop and the queen there, so it's like a kind of a nugatory ownership of the file. Not really owning it because we can't really do anything major to it. His king's kind of jammed in, can't castle, so this pawn probably needs to move to give itself a bit of a virtual castle to link his rooks up. Bishop's attacking our queen, yeah, with the magic. Could go for an attempt at an exchange, but maybe shall we just leave it on for now? Shall we just leave it on for now? Now he's got the two bishops here, really. There's no ownership with the rooks here. Might as well just stop that off because it's not going to happen. But I don't have anything else to do. He's going to start swinging and attacking all sorts of pieces. So I think I will just continue with that movement. This pawn doesn't have any protection on it. Yeah, it's just swinging now. He's um, looking to get rid of all my pieces. Could bring the knight across. Or go for the... Time is running down, dude. I'm in bullet mode type thing with a 10 second increment. <laughs> yes, getting creamed right from the very start. The thing is though, they think they were being very clever, you know, when they're using the magic wands and their, their little magic tricks. And, but it is quite disappointing. It's soul destroying because you want to try and play your game, play a fair game, and then and analyze it afterwards and go, oh, I could have done X, Y, and Z, blah, blah, blah. And it's just harping back to the bad practices again of, um, what can happen online so doing like duff moves like this i mean he's coming down okay so he's moving quick so if he takes takes we could push our pawn here he takes and we take it's all supported here so if we did go with the rook he could take bishop takes queen still supporting the pawn here so should we spend too much time here because he's got the bishops covering all of this hasn't he really mm. That's where bishop's not doing much. So if we bring the bishop here doing something. I think he's looking though for the cheapies, isn't he? So if he does get this open door, takes queens here, bishop. Oh, bishop. This can't take it back. I'm going to have to move the king. Let's move the king. Let's move the king. Yeah, it's, the magic is working wonders for them. Absolutely fantastic. Look at the moves. And we said that was a duff move, but it obviously it's not, you know, it's um it's magical moves. We're seeing it now, seeing the pattern that they're looking to um, develop. Oh even more, look at this. Whew, dear me. I think this player should be nineteen hundred or in the two thousands, shouldn't it? Unbelievable. Okay, let's not forget. Could get two on one here, but no, he's blocked that off already. Let's just bring the knight here, attack the bishop. Time's running down, we're on 56 seconds. So as we mentioned, the 
They've got 10 second increments, so any kind of magic wand that they're using really should be able to keep up because they've got to basically, you know, deal with the coordinates first and then the magic wand has got to then, you know, decide which movements are the right ones. So they've got time to do what they need to do with the magic. We'll see the, we'll see the difference if they get under one minute. And it looks like they're getting close to that now because their magic wand is there and deciding which sort of move maneuvers to make. They have a bit of pressure coming towards here. It looks like we can maintain it a bit. But we are minus two. So they do actually capture. I'm going to capture here. Take all that time just to make that move. So they're still over the one minute mark. So at some point the magic wand potentially might be put down and they might have to go maverick. And that at that point we might see some mistakes and we might be able to grab the pawns back or improve our position on the board. I'm hoping it's the latter because I'm not too bothered about grabbing the pawns back. I could grab them back but be in a bad position. So the time is running down now. This is the pressure time. I know that it's a 10 second increment. You know, it's not like zero. So they, they still do have the time to mess about with the little tools so the rook can come here attacking this pawn is there anything else this bishop has got protection from the queen let's go here don't overthink it unprotected piece brings it down yeah so they're taking it's still a long time the magic wand is still being used and they're nearly hitting underneath the one minute mark when it gets to 30 seconds, that will be probably even more telling, so. Yeah, so that comes down. Could push this pawn up. Knight, 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 knight. Bishop, maybe. And anything else, dude? Let's have a look. Queen could look to exchange off in this type of position, you know. Let's go here with the queen. Oh, they're nearly under. Oh, and they've hit under, so they would have got that noise. So hopefully now they're going to have to do half maverick, half magic. Half Maverick, half uh, Magic, and hopefully, maybe I'm hoping they don't find it. Okay, so King is safe here. Boom, boom, boom. Knight there, and could bring the knight up. Um, bishop could attack their bishop. So attack their bishop. Come on, half Maverick, half Magic. Come on, please. Come on. Yeah, so I still the magic is still going. It's not not mavericked it really. Let's go here. Magic again. Look at the time. To, to, to. It's not willing to go instinctive at, at the moment at all. Pure magic all the way. Pure magic. Rooks are coming. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a terrible start to the season. Terrible start. Okay, what else have we got? Pawn here, but I think the rooks are coming here attacking it. Yeah, that all makes. Queen coming here attacking his pawn in the corner. Just in case there's no exchanges. Bishop's going to be taken here. Yeah, okay. Oh, if not, it's taken. Okay, half maverick, half magic. Let's bring the queen here. Let's be mindful at this moment in time. Let's just take this at the moment. Half maverick, half magic. Looks like that occurred just then with the last two moves that they've made. So the maverick nature, their naturalness 
it's starting to kick in but they're still using the magic yeah they're still using the magic um but, but let's go here that's all magic stuff you're spotting these little weakness areas still using it <laughs> to the day and death it's because it's got that 10 second increment you know and the magic can keep up with the 10 seconds which is a shame um okay this way no because the rook will get hit So we know we're not winning this, but we've put up a good show against the magic wand. So I'm, I'm quite pleased about that, but I'm just annoyed that I'm having to play against the magic wand as the first game that we're playing from the December start of our season, which isn't right. As you can see now, the magic wand is running out. They're not willing to use their own type of uh, maverick brain. And we've actually won on time and that's all based on them using the magic wand they could not find the quicker moves the better moves 